And we're back with Matt Henry with the Arts Council. And Matt, every time I see the greatest love of all, I'm tempted to just belt out that Whitney Houston line. But tell us more about this episode. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think a lot of people are. <laughs> a lot of people are looking forward to it. Absolutely. Thanks. And thanks for having us on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a fantastic show. This is a worldwide tour. Uh, this is her U.S. tour. Um, this is a professional company, uh, uh, Showtime Entertainment, out of Australia, actually. Wow. Uh, but Belinda David's the star. Uh, she beat out 15,000 hopefuls for this role. In this, uh, she's from South Africa. Okay. But she's spot on, does a great, great, great tribute to the iconic, uh, one-of-a-kind Whitney Houston. <laughs> Absolutely. And going to this show, what can we expect to see? Uh, you're going to expect to see uh, a lot, a great live band, uh, backing vocalists. Uh, there's going to be state-of-the-art sound, lighting, visual, theatrical effects, and a really professionally produced program on stage. Uh, it's going to look great, and you're going to hear a lot of the, a lot of the songs you're going to associate with those memories of Whitney, whether it be "I Want to," "I Will Always Love You," "I Want to Dance with Somebody," of course, "The Greatest Love of All," uh, "Exhale," "Shoop Shoop," all the greats. <laughs> so uh, yeah. it's going to be a great night of fun. Absolutely. And so this is a world tour, so I feel like we're pretty lucky to have that coming here to Alexandria. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we really are fortunate. I mean, we're very fortunate, of course, to have the great performing arts venue that we do have here. Right. And uh, we've just been working hard and have been looking at this program for a couple of years. A lot of our colleagues in Texas and New Orleans and other kind of places like that have presented her. And uh, this is a 32-city, two-month U.S. tour that she's doing right wow. now. She's worked her way all the way down from the northeast through the Midwest and south. And then uh, we were able to luckily fit into that block booking on her way from Georgia, on her way to Texas, and then uh, points west beyond. Awesome. And so it's coming up this Friday, correct? It's this Friday. And so how can we get tickets? Uh, we need you to get tickets as soon as possible because, number one, they're selling very well. And number two, we want people to be able to get the best price you can and get those discounts, whether you're a member, student, military, uh, or um, senior, of course. So you want to go to our website, louisiana-arts.org, and go to the events tab, and you can purchase your seats and pick your seats right there. But we do want you to make sure that you know that you've got to get your tickets ahead of time or else it's going to be more at the door. Absolutely. And so there was something else you were wanting to talk about, too. Yeah, I wanted to take a chance to talk about our southern circuit tour of independent filmmakers uh, this is an independent filmmaking series that we've been fortunate to provide uh, to the community uh, several times over the past few years so we're starting up the second half of that season with a great film called butterfly in the sky and this tells the uh, story of the beloved pbs children's series reading rainbow okay so kids from the 80s and 90s are going to know this very well <laughs> and uh, of course about its iconic host lavar burton absolutely and uh, it really chronicles the journeys of broadcasters educators and filmmakers who uh, really believe that television could inspire a lifelong love of reading uh, so it's a great film and it's part of our next our series that starts back up in february uh -huh. Uh, so that's going to take place on February 12th at okay. 7 o'clock right down here at the Hearn stage. That's in the Rapids Foundation building in the Black Box Theater at 7 o'clock. Absolutely. So that's the first one in that series. What else can we expect? Uh, we got two more films after that. I can't actually tell you what the March <laughs> film is uh, because uh, that film got pulled from our circuit after we had already made our choices because okay. it was actually doing very well and it, uh, because of different rights issues it got picked up and went to a couple festivals. So we're in the process of replacing that film. Gotcha. Uh, but if you go to our website, there's something ab as well on our film series, and you can look it up at the synopses for our upcoming films right there. Absolutely. So one more time, let's jump back to the greatest love of all. Yeah, let's do that. And ticket information, where is it going to be? Okay, tickets again. Uh, get, your get, get your tickets ahead of time so you can uh, pick your seats. Uh, it is reserved seating. Uh, that's at louisiana-arts.org. Go to the events tab and uh, purchase your tickets right there. Absolutely, how much are the tickets? Uh, tickets range, uh, normal prices, uh, 27 through $37, uh, depending on where you want to sit. Gotcha. But again, there's a lot of discounts there if you're a, a student, a senior, military, or uh, what am I listening out? Uh, members, of course, are members of the arts. Absolutely, and so we need to hurry up and get those tickets. And one more time, give us a brief description of what's coming early um, in March. Or did you say February? Uh, February. Yeah. Uh, Butterfly in the Sky, the yes. independent film series documentary on the uh, beloved uh, uh, children's series from the 80s and 90s that takes place as part of our Southern Circuit Tour of indep Independent Filmmakers. It's a mouthful. Uh, uh, right down here at the Hearn stage. Absolutely, Matt. Thanks for being on the show. Uh, thanks for having us. Yep.